फिगविंग निकार डीपीन फॉर ऑल द पेशेंट्स ऑफ हाइपरटेंसिव इमरजेंसीज यू आर डूइंग बिग मिस्टेक बी सेलिंग एंटी हाइपरटेंसिव नॉट बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर्स बट बेस्ड ऑन द ऑर्गन्स नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट इफ देयर इज अ हाइपरटेंसिव इमरजेंसी विद एक्यूट हार्ट फेलियर और पल्मोनरी एडिमा then we prefer nitroglycerin that is a vasodilator and it will reduce the preload it will reduce the afterload and patient will benefit in both the cases second is if there is a brain involvement in the form of encephalopathy stroke or intracranial hemorrhage then we have to start nicardipine infusion it's like guideline and if it is not available we can start iv labetalol also third is if patient is having aortic dissections then in aortic dissection you know we have to reduce blood pressure very quickly so we give esmolol in this case that is a beta blocker then we can give the nitrate and don't start nitrate right away because vasodilation should never be done before beta blocking now coming to pregnancy if patient is having eclampsia preeclampsia we give the magnesium sulfate even hydrolazine can be given earlier they used to give alpha methyl dopa as well but now it's not routinely used and the target blood pressure is less than 160 mmh and lastly if patient is having sympathetic crisis like cocaine intake and in this case we have to give fentolamine we have to avoid pure beta blockers in this case for sure so that's it as simple as it gets but remember never go for the oral drugs they will take time never give nitroglycerin if patient is having liver or renal failure and never go for immediate reduction go for step by step reason we discussed in the last week finally do let me know in the comment section if patient is having fibrocytoma what agent you will use and please share this video with friends and follow me for more such content